Welcome back. Thank you for clicking on today's video. Today we're going to be talking about statistical imprints. Now I'm just going to give you the definition and in future chapters we're going to start doing statistical inferences. Now the goal in statistics is to be able to talk about a population. The challenge with populations is that they're so big you can't collect data on every single individual or part of the population. And so we can't do a census, which remember is looking at the entire population. Instead, we look at samples. Now, how do we get samples? Well, we talked about ways to do um, different sampling methods. Uh, we talked about a simple random sample and a convenient sample. But essentially what happens is you have an entire population and you're going to, through some sampling method, get a smaller group that's manageable and that you can analyze data for or collect data on. When you do that, so you go from a population and you, through some sampling method, find a sample, you're going to use this smaller group to talk about this larger group. So our goal is going to be to take information from the large group through a sample and we are going to try to use that sample to relate back to talk about the entire population. Now there are two forms of statistical inference that we'll be discussing. We will be doing a confidence interval, which is just as it sounds, it's gonna create an interval. And we'll be doing hypothesis testing, which is just as it sounds, you hypothesize about a specific value. Now you'll be doing those four parameters. So I will be showing you how to create a confidence interval that you hope contains your parameter of interest, which as of late, we've been talking about P and mu. So we'll be creating confidence intervals that we hope contain P or creating confidence intervals that we hope will contain mu. Both of those will be created with a sample or with the information that we glean from a sample. Same is true for hypothesis testing. We'll be hypothesizing about specific values for parameters and we'll be doing that, doing those tests using sample data to be able to then talk about what we see or think is true for a parameter that we're interested in. So that's just a real quick um, introduction to what statistical inference is. In future chapters, as I said, we will be um, talking about how to perform those statistical inferences. See you there.